Teresa, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome, thank you for joining me. And if you've been here before, well, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Today, we're gonna to be creating some mid-century modern home decor, and we're gonna be printing onto tissue paper today, which is the perfect um, medium then for decoupaging onto a canvas and creating this artwork. Um, really simple techniques, um, and I hope that you enjoy the process and that it inspires you to go and create something to jazz up you know, a bare wall in your house. You can use these techniques um, for other projects as well. You know, if you don't want to work onto a canvas, you could do this and just put it in a picture frame. You could work in a journal or indeed scale this right down and use it to create some fun greetings cards. But I'm going to clear this out of the way, get set up with my plate and I'll show you how we go about creating it. Today I'm going to be working on my 5 by 7 inch Jelly Art gel printing plate. It's my favourite size to use. It's just a nice good all round, not too big, not too small size. So I've got that set up. I've got my brayer. This is my Ranger um, red rubber brayer. It's about the four inch. It's their medium sized one. Uh, I've got some paints. Um, once again, Deco Art brands. I think they're mostly Americana. Um, working in sort of similar shades, groups of three um, for monochrome printing today. So I have True Red, Bright Salmon and Coral Shell. I've got Bright Orange, Cadmium Yellow and Banana Cream. And then I've got Desert Turquoise, Sea Breeze, and I've got Spa Blue. It's also a deco art paint, but it's part of the um, Crafters Acrylic range rather than the Americana range. So I don't have a very pale um, sort of turquoise colour in the Americana. So I've, I've pulled that one out to use in that group of three. Going to be just doing some simple printing because the project today is more about using the prints. So I've got a couple of stencils. Um, this one here is a stencil from Joggles, just quite a large geometric one. And this one here, not entirely sure um, where this one's from. That's one I use quite a lot and I really should sort of research and find out where I had it from. But I, I just don't know. But again, it's sort of geometric design, but a smaller design. Because um, I'm going to be doing a print with three layers, I'm going to be doing a plain colour for the background and then using um, a larger stencil and a smaller stencil on top just to add a little bit of depth in this sort of monochrome that we're doing. Today I'm going to be printing onto some tissue paper because I'm going to be cutting out and mounting this on a canvas and tissue paper being very fine and lightweight should sort of pretty much melt into the canvas so it will almost look like the design is painted directly on my canvas. So that's my reasoning for using tissue paper. Now this tissue paper is some Dina Wakely media collage paper and um, it comes with patterned designs in there and it comes with some blank sheets as well and it's just nice it's it's just it's a nice quality tissue but you know if, if you've got just some normal tissue paper use that if you've got deli paper it will work perfectly as well but I'm just using what I've got and this is going to be perfect for my needs today. I've got myself a large canvas, this isn't going to exactly fit in the screen um, at the moment. This is about 8 inches by 20 inches. It's like a long, um, narrow canvas. And I thought it was going to, it's the perfect sort of shape for the mid-century style that I'm going for today, for the design that I'm going for today. So the printing itself, as I say, is going to be really quite straightforward. So this project, absolutely ideal for beginners. Um, I'm going to be doing the prints. I'm going to pull each layer separately, but there is no reason whatsoever why you can't do this as a one layer print. Um, I'll leave a link up in the corner to a video that I showed how to do the, the one pull multi-layered prints um, not that long ago. But for simplicity's sake today, we're just going to do this um, pulling each each layer separately and building up onto our tissue paper. So I'm going to begin by adding my palest colour. Um, I'll start with the, the set of coral paints. And I'm just going to apply a bit of paint to the plate and use the brayer just to give an even coating all over. 
going to take my piece of tissue paper and place it down on my plate just to get a bit of a base layer of paint on there and pull that off. I just wanted um, a solid colour in the background because this is going on a white canvas. When I cut out some shapes, I, I don't want there to be any white space left on the tissue paper that will sort of detract from the geometric shapes that we're going to be cutting out. For my next layer, I'm going to use the next shade, the, the medium shade in my trio of paints. And once again, just brayer that evenly. Just remove that little bit of dried paint. Just get a nice even coating over the plate. Just got a scrap of paper off to the side here that I'm cleaning my brayer off in between colours. And I'm going to take my larger designed stencil, pop it on top of the plate, take my piece of tracing paper, um, piece of tissue paper that has the base colour on and lining it up pretty well. doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be cutting out. Pop that down on the plate, press down well. and remove that second layer, like so. I'm going to take off my stencil. Now, if you want to work on a, you know, scrap paper or another sheet of paper, you know, you can pull some more paint off your plate. Then when you're done, just squirt a little bit of water on and remove any excess paint before moving on to the third layer. And for the third layer, I'm going to use the darkest of my three shades. Again, a bit of paint onto the plate. Use the brayer to give a nice even coating. Take the smaller of my two stencil designs, pop that on the plate, take my tissue paper, line it up, and once again press down firmly all over to transfer that third layer of paint. like so. Once again, just need to clean this plate off. So just pulling off some of that onto my paper here. And then remove the last traces of that paint, ready to start on our next print and our next set of colours. So I'm going to create two more prints in exactly the same way, but I'm going to use my yellow shades and my turquoise shades. So I shall pop this onto fast forward, add a bit of music because it's exactly the same process as I've just shown you there. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa
plate away because I finished printing now. And I've got my three layered prints. I've got my turquoise one, my yellow one and my coral one. And I want to cut out three shapes, one from each of those. Um, so I've cut myself three templates. Now this is just cut out of some paper and they're basically a sort of a wonky rectangle um, with curved corners for want of a better description with a hole cut out of the middle. If you take a look on um, Pinterest or, or just Google mid-century modern design, you'll see a lot of artwork with geometric shapes. Um, you get a lot of these sort of ovals or oblongs, you get a lot of bowl shapes, crescents, um, sort of think 1950s, early 60s, slightly space age, um, very sort of block um, colours and then geometric lines and dots sort of connecting things together. But have a quick look if you're not familiar with the style. I have done um, projects before that are a sort of mid with a mid-century modern feel to them. If I can find um, a couple, I will link them up in the corner. Um, but, you know, it's a really popular on-trend style at the moment. And I'm taking this opportunity to do something sort of fun and quite graphic with these prints and create a nice piece of wall art. So I'm going to cut out one of these shapes from each of my prints. Just going to pop it on the print, draw around with a pencil and cut it out. And then I'll be back to show you how I'm going to apply that to my canvas. So I've got my canvas here and I've drawn a pencil line down the centre because I want to draw in a solid black line once I've adhered my printed pieces to it. I've cut out my three shapes from my printed tissue paper and they're going to fit basically something like this. I'm going to draw in the solid line and just put like a little ball at either end of it, I think, just to finish it off. So the pen, I've put the pencil line in first because it's a bit of a, a guide for me, a visual guide as to where my line's going to be so that I can align these printed pieces. And I'm going to be sticking them down with some um, decoupage medium. This is DecoArt Americana Decoupage. This is the matte one. You could use a matte medium, Mod Podge, you know what I mean? Something like that. Perfectly fine. Again, as always, I'm using what I've got. If you have a different brand, you know, go ahead and use that. And I'm going to stick these um, down in place and carefully smooth out any wrinkles and just let them dry a little bit before I go in and draw this black line. And for drawing the line, I'm going to be using a paint pen and ruler because it's going to be a lot easier for me than trying to do it with a paintbrush. Um, I have a bit of a, a, a shaky hand, so I'm figuring a paint pen is going to be a lot easier for me. So I'm just going to turn this on its side so it just fits in frame a little bit easier. And go ahead and put some matte medium down on the canvas to stick this in place. Once your matte medium's dry or your decoupage medium, whatever you've used, we can finish now by adding in the line detail. And as I said earlier, I'm just going to use a Posca paint pen in black. You could use um, a Sharpie even if you haven't got um, a paint pen. It's got to be something that's going to work well on the surface and the fact that there may be some glue there as well. So just sort of try it on an inconspicuous area or on a scrap of paper and see what if the pen that you've got is going to work. Um, if you don't have a paint pen or a permanent marker, um, you can do this with a fine paintbrush, but just bear in mind it might not be quite so straight. So I'm just going to place my ruler back against the line that I've got and draw my line in and then finish with a couple of dots on the line.
carefully lift your ruler away you don't want to smear um, the edge if you've got any of the ink on it and as I say I haven't drawn over um, the top of my decoupaged pieces I did consider drawing the line in first but I didn't want it to show through in case there was some transparency so that's why I've added the line in at the end I think I actually want to make my line a little bit thicker so I'm just going to take a, a broader nibbed pen and go over my line possibly then might might just make those um, dots a little bigger but I think the the proportion means my line just needs to be a little heavier than it already is I'm much happier with that now it's got a heavier line it just seems to to be more in proportion and balanced and more balanced design hope it's given you a few more ideas of what you can do with prints that you've already got or if you just want to create a few prints and then want to create some home decor using them printing on tissue paper is absolutely perfect for decoupage and layering um, it, it's nice and lightweight and it just works really really well much better than other types of paper or cardstock Mid-century modern design is a favourite of mine. I just love the bold graphic um, style of it all and it seems to lend itself very well for using gel prints um, to create home decor. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please do check out the links throughout the video and in the end card um, at the end of this video. But for now, that's all. Bye. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all white Cause I don't know if it'll